Don't lose focus on your most important task. Learn this trick to stay energized. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we are in module four. The overall topic in module four is overcoming obstacles to habit formation. In the first session here, we're going to talk about common obstacles to habit formation and how to actually overcome them. So one of the biggest obstacles to habit formation is resistant to change. Yes, definitely a victim of that myself. Not anymore, I like to say, because it's positive thinking here, right? We often resist new habits because they require us to step outside our comfort zones and challenge ourselves in new ways. I'm in several groups on Facebook. One of them have over 80,000 people right now. It's an extremely positive group and we lift each other up and help each other every day. Even more importantly, since you've probably gathered that I am huge on mastermind groups, in my mastermind groups too, we don't allow any negative talk like that or thoughts. We stay positive and we encourage each other. And if people are struggling, which we hear things every time we get on the calls, like, hey, I'm struggling with this or I can't figure that out, we help each other. Day in, day out, we've done that and we go above and beyond just the individual members. So being in a mastermind group is really tight. Can you imagine meeting with somebody every week for an hour and a half for 12 years? What does that do to you? It's actually 11 years, sorry, now. What does that do to you and that relationship? So it's not just about them. I get to know about their personal lives, health, other things they struggle with, maybe in a relationship or in their family or what have you. And we reach out and we are resourceful and we all have connections and thoughts and encouragement to give each other. That's what this is all about. So the obstacles when it comes to habit formation are very, very important. You want to make sure you have the right environment. Another example I like to give, if you're going to grow a, a bacteria, all you need to do is to create the environment and that bacteria will grow there. And the same thing for your own success. You need to surround yourself with uh, like-minded people that are there to pick you up when you're feeling down and vice versa. The more you give, you receive. And in giving, there is receiving. It's a funny story, and not so funny actually. My mom and dad, bless their soul, they're, they're on another journey now, they're all gone. But they taught my sister and me to say no when people offered us, offered us something because we had enough, we didn't need anything more. So we kind of learned to say no when somebody wanted to give something to us. Guess what that did? We robbed them from the joy of giving to us because there is more receiving in giving. Hopefully I wasn't too deep here, but <laughs> obviously we've learned to change that around and it's more joy in giving that it is in receiving. So anyway, sidetracked a little bit. Hopefully it made sense for you. Anyway, so to overcome these obstacles, it can actually be helpful to enlist the support of others like I just talked about. It could be a coach, it could be a mentor, an accountability partner or a mastermind group where you find an accountability partner inside there because you already have that relationship. So you can say, hey, do you want to pair up and, and outside of the mastermind group and just check in with each other every Friday, for example, and then get together. Here's another tip for you. If you're going to do something hard or something that's important, I love Fridays. People are in a different frame of mind on Fridays, at least I am. And, and that's more on the positive end. That's when I make my hard calls, the things that I dread the most because I feel better and then I project that over to the other person as well, I hope. <laughs> so we need to also be helpful and mindful to celebrate the small wins that we get along the way. Very, very important. We talked about that also earlier, but that's also part of this. And to use positive self-talk to reinforce our commitment to the habit. So affirmations are huge, meditations, and visualizations are huge. I know that the story with Tony Robbins one time, he missed a bus and it wasn't just a short little ride he had to you know, make it home. It was like four or five miles or something, some insane. So he said, I'm gonna run home. So that was like in the middle of the night. So he had to run home. You're talking about maybe an hour and a half or two or something like that. And he was there in his work clothes. And he said something to this, and every day and in every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. And every day in every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. He just said that mantra to himself over and over and over again while he was running. And he's been using that mantra going forward too. And you can see where he is today. It's wildly successful. So building a strong support system around ourselves and adopting a positive mindset, you can overcome any obstacle. I totally believe in that. And so it's all about forming habits that will help you achieve a lasting change. So be around positive people that will support you. I Not the crazy thing I've also done since November 2021. I haven't watched the news, not even for five seconds. I turn it off. I hear it on the radio, I turn it off. TV is not never on news. So don't watch the news because like they said, if it bleeds, it leads. And I'm not interested in it. 
I want to read positive news and I figure if something really bad happens, somebody will tell me. <laughs> so, so don't be too concerned. Or maybe you will tell me. Anyway, hopefully this gave you a little inspiration, a little insight to stick to the Pomodoro technique. And we'll be giving you obviously sheets and hopefully a workbook here too. I'm actually in the middle of creating it as we speak. And that it's not a coincidence what I'm doing here, but hopefully we'll have a workbook for you here that you can also follow through. Okay. But for sure, worksheets we will have so that you can execute on this. Okay. Have a great rest of the day. And I will see you in the next session where we'll be talking about dealing with setbacks and slip ups and the building resilience and learning from mistakes. All right. See you on the outside. Ciao. Visit ahamastery.com and find out all you need to know about our courses.